everyone and welcome to vlogmas day 12 uh to go along with the day i decided to do 12 different christmas bullet journal themes that you can maybe try out this december if for some reason you're still looking for a bullet journal theme theme i don't know there were a lot of videos that i thought would really fit for the beginning and or end of the month and then a lot of videos that i had to just fill in for you know the middle of vlogmas but regardless let's get into it so as you can see right now i'm sort of just outlining uh the lines of the page and then i already outlined the first idea that i had which you'll see in a minute which is ornaments so this was the first like sort of christmas bullet journal theme that i ever did uh in december of 2021 um, and basically, I feel like there's a lot you can do with this theme. This theme, I'm trying to do things that are like really easy and that you can customize to fit, you know, your traditions and all of that. So ornaments is one of those things where you can literally just do almost any shape and just draw a line hanging from it. Or if you want to do it with like a backdrop of like a, a tree or something like that, you can draw the little hooks, you can draw like little pine needles sticking out in between the ornaments. Um, and I just did some sort of classic ornament shapes in some of the classic Christmassy colors. Uh, but I thought this was really cool because you can customize it sort of with maybe the ornaments you hang on your Christmas tree if you do that tradition. Or you can do some really cool um, like multicolored ornaments. You can do it for any different set of color set. I just sort of went with this basic like red, green, yellow, brown color set for most of the themes in this spread. In the setup, I mean, I'm so used to saying spread. Um, but yeah, I'm just sort of picking colors that went really well together for Christmas. But like I said, I picked themes that you can really customize in your own way. So I'm sort of just coloring that in now with markers. Also, for any of all of these themes, I just chose to really use like markers. And then as you'll see in a couple other um, sets later, I use some stickers, I use some washi tape. Um, but really, it's meant to work with whatever sort of supplies you have. Now I'm moving on to the second idea, which is hot chocolate, or I guess you could also do sort of like a tea or like eggnog theme with this, basically any sort of like Christmassy drink that you normally go for. Mine is definitely hot chocolate, um, and so I decided to do that for the second one because I also feel like it's a very easy theme, and it's also the second Christmas theme that I used last year in 2022. Uh, although last year I had sort of more like a pink mug and I was kind of making it, I don't know, more of like a, like a reddish brown sort of theme with it. But again, you can sort of use whatever color you want for the mug and then the hot chocolate itself is just brown. And then I have a little plate of marshmallows on the side just because I felt like the spread, like the theme was missing something. And I do think that the marshmallows are one, super easy to draw. And two, it's a little like small theme. If you don't want to just continuously keep drawing the hot chocolate over and over and over again, you could do little marshmallows with it too. Um, and so now we're going on to our third theme, which can be a little more complex if you want it to be just with the geometry with it all and the, a lot of different decorative elements, but I went with a gingerbread house. Um, I think that gingerbread is honestly one of my favorite sort of desserts that makes it feel like Christmas for me. I know there's so many different Christmas desserts out there, but really like gingerbread cookies are one of my favorite things ever. Um, but this, I think, like I said earlier, there's a lot of potential for customization with this and it's a lot of tiny details and decorative elements that you can do because every gingerbread house is kind of different and stuff like that. But you can sort of do this however you want, but really the base is just a brown house. Like you just draw a house and you can draw it at any sort of angle you want so if you don't want to have to draw like the entire like house and all the rectangles and cubes and everything you could just draw it like base on or you can do how i've sort of done it here sort of like a side view um to get the full extent to the house and like i said i'm just did a little like green red yellow decorations for it uh the front has a little like gumdrop lane going toward it but there's tons of different decors like customizations you can use if you're actually making a gingerbread house this year you could maybe model it off of like your gingerbread house which i think would be really cute This one 
is a lot more, it's gonna go very quickly because I decided to use a sticker pack that I got from um, an Amazon catalog, but it's, it's sort of like a winter sports theme. So if you're really into somewhere that, that has like skiing or like snow sports, this could be a really cool theme for you. Uh, they had a little sleigh and a little like slope for uh, skiing, I guess. So yeah, just doing that. If you have any stickers that go with it, or obviously drawing out like the mountaintops and like the snow is super easy as well. If you like to do like winter skiing, you can obviously do the little like hand guards and the little like skis themselves or the little like flags for the, the um, lanes you're going in. Or if you like to do sledding, you can draw a sled, stuff like that. The next theme idea I have is one that like I came up with for this video and I actually might consider doing it for my December theme, uh, not gonna lie, but it's a carolers theme. Uh, and I think this is one that I think could be a little more complicated just because of the drawing of all the people. Like I am really terrible at drawing people. So that's sort of why for this, I went with more of like a cartoony, um, almost stick figure like expressions on the carolers. But I kind of like how they're all like in a line like this. and. The expression is just like a, an O to make them sound like they're singing and then I added musical notes in the air to sort of symbolize like yeah these are carolers. Um, but I really like how this turned out and you can sort of like I said you can make this as detailed or as like easy as you want it to be. If you're somebody that's really good at like drawing faces and drawing people then this could definitely be like a really fun theme for you. It's gonna be time consuming if you want to do like a realistic version but the cartoon version is totally fine and you can even just opt for stick figures honestly uh, and I think it'll still have the same like really cute effect and I wanted it to be sort of like you just open your door and these carolers are all there right on your doorstep um like perfectly placed almost and then I left a little room at the bottom so you can write like the header but you can obviously make this take up an entire spread if you wanted to you could draw the whole bodies and everything like that I also think that this has a potential for multiple different color schemes i know that a lot of people that go caroling sometimes they'll be in like all black with the santa hat sometimes they won't have a santa hat they'll just be in scarves sometimes they'll dress in like very um almost like like olden time like 1800s like london vibes i don't know like it gives me a christmas carol like with like the fancy dresses and the old like suits and, and undershirts and everything like that uh, so you can really just go wild and I'm sure that they have like inspiration of like Christmas caroler outfits If you want to like really get creative with it, but yeah, this is definitely one of my like favorites in this little Collection of Christmas yeah. themes that I've done so far and I was like I said honestly sort of considering Maybe doing this for my journal. So I will probably keep y'all updated if that actually does happen But while I do that I am going to get started with the next spread I'm sorry, I keep doing that. The next theme idea, which is plaid. There are so many cool pictures online of like people and families in like the same plaid pajamas and plaid is just a very like, okay, you know it's Christmas. Like people are wearing plaid. All right, this feels like cozy Christmassy. Um, and I use like a green and a red plaid, but uh, there, there are so many other like wash plaid washi tapes. I got this washi tape set off of Amazon. So if y'all want me to link that, I can link that and like let y'all know where I got it. But yeah, you can use like sort of, you can even, you don't even need the washi tape itself though. Like a plaid is just, a, it's a very easy pattern that you can draw and doodle yourself if you don't feel like getting washi tape specifically for it. But I just happened to have these washi tapes. So I decided what a better place to actually use them. And then when I was planning it out, I accidentally wrote the plaid way too close to the edge. So I just redid that in marker. Uh, and that was like a super easy and you're done spread. So now we're getting into the next idea I had, which was like bells. I was kind of debating how I wanted to draw the bells for this because I was thinking like maybe like a jingle bells, like you, like a handheld thing. But in the end I decided for this, cause this could also be like a bell tower you could do it in. Uh, but there's a lot of different ways you can do it. And then just to add a little motion, I made it as if it's like rocking back and forth and the little like sound waves coming off of it. I thought that was really cute. I really, really like how this one turned out. This is another one that like going into it, I had the idea and I wasn't sure how it was gonna originally turn out, but I really liked it. Next, we're moving on to a classic Christmas theme, which is peppermint. I myself personally am not a big fan of peppermint, but I can't deny that it is a huge part of the season. So, you know, doing a peppermint spread if you're really low on time, because Christmas is really stressful and you got a lot going on. It's a super, super easy um, theme you can do. It's literally just a stick, 
and then a half circle up top and then alternating red stripes that go down it. And if you wanna outline it with black like I'm doing here with the pen to make it pop off the page, you can. I also added just a little bit of like red dots around it just because the candy cane itself, since it has white incorporated in it, if you're doing it on like a white spread, it can seem a little lackluster. So adding just a little like polka dots in the background or little stars or little decorations I think can really make a spread um, and a theme pop more than it would have just on its own of the actual thing. Next, I'm using that same sticker sheet and I'm doing like a forest or a Christmas tree theme. You can do whichever um, you want. But they just had these cute little acorn and Christmas tree stickers on there. I loved it. And I thought that this other sticker at the bottom that you can't really see was a sticker. And in fact, it's just a doodle on the page. So I decided, well, let me attempt doodling this. And I tried to draw a pine code quite unsuccessfully, if I do say so myself, but in the end, you know, I'm sh it still looks good. <laughs> um, and to sort of match that stickery aesthetic of the others, I sort of outlined it and colored the background in a similar green color, the closest green color I had to match their background. Um, and honestly, I think it looked kind of cute. And I think this too, like it invented sort of a new way to make it look like a sticker so if you're doing ever like a theme where you want it to look like a sticker that's a very easy way to just outline it with another color of some sort the next theme i am going with if you can see from my uh pencil and outline is sort of a fireplace theme so i really had to um draw in the brick background and when I originally penciled it in, I did it incorrectly, but like I knew what I was getting at. So I knew once I colored it in with red, it would color over it, that it wouldn't be that big of a deal and I could go back and pen and outline in the correct brick way. But this is another one of those themes that I think it, it looks very simple, but I think that it can actually be quite difficult just to get the proportions of like the firewood to the actual fire, right? And then making sure like coloring in the whole page or doing the brick background can be difficult. And then just like the 3D aspect of I in this one, you'll see in a bit, I sort of do like a some of the ground that the logs are sitting in for the fireplace itself to sort of try to give it more of like a 3D look. But getting the proportions of that with the log right can be pretty difficult to do. So this is definitely a theme that I, I'd say if you're attempting to do, pencil it out beforehand, uh, no matter how confident you might be. <laughs> and this is also something that I do feel if you're going for the entire page, make sure that you're using a bullet journal paper that's like super super thick so you don't get any bleed through with whatever marker or paint or any other um stationery that you're using to color that in because filling up an entire page with a bold color of red like that is can really saturate it so i'm just going in and i'm adding in the bricks with like the correct sort of alternating shape and i think this is where this theme really starts to come to life is just adding in the black outlines of things and the bricks in the walls especially it just makes it feel so cozy um, and I think like me being in a house that like we don't have a fireplace and I'm so used to just putting on the little like fireplace videos on TV to feel cozy during the Christmas season. I think opening that up every every day in the month would be a really fun feeling. And it's just a really cool spread, I think, to sort of end out the year on. This next spread idea is pretty staple if you do sort of a more traditional like Americanized Christmas, I guess, which is stockings. Um, you can really do this if you want it like any other part of, point in the year. The same sort of doodle can be used for just a regular sock theme, but doing it specifically for stockings for Christmas, you can use like specific like green and red Christmas colors for it, or you can have them like lined up on the mantel place or wherever you normally put your stockings. And again, this is another one of those spreads where I think is really cool because you can, if you so choose, model your stocking based off of your actual Christmas stocking. And I think it just makes it that more personal touch, whereas a lot of these um, themes that I'm doing are much more generic, but they can be made in a way that's way more personal to you. And I really like that about these themes. This is also one that's just a super simple drawing to do and a really nice like repetitive decoration for the rest of the spreads if you're doing this for a month. 
Obviously too, as you'll see in this, I sort of have been doing the titles for each of the type of themes in my um, <laughs> in my drawings for this. This is basically just to represent where you could put like the month if you're doing like a monthly header for it. But obviously you can put the title of it wherever you want to. And there were a lot of other places in some of these that I could put the title in a different place. But the stocking one, I pretty much love the placement of because it's sort of scattered just like the stockings in this one. And the final theme that I'm doing uh, that you can do for Christmas is presents. There's so many different ways that you can do a present theme. So I just went with a very basic alternating red and green along the bottom. But you can also make like a border of presents if you wanna make it like around the whole page. I think that could be really cool. You could do again like a scene of if you already have presents like set up under the tree or if you know what wrapping paper you're gonna be using for certain family presents, you could totally do that in your spread. And I think it would help to make it, if you're especially looking for a spread that feels cozy like Christmas, but isn't like the like this where it's the standard like Christmas theme, you can make it more personal and use like wacky colored um, wrapping paper. And I think that you can make it a little bit less quote unquote Christmassy. Um, and then I also wanted to do the title in this in font because I realized that like I hadn't been doing any of the other titles really in cursive um <laughs> so i attempted with cursive it is not supposed to be that accurate i was never that great at cursive which is kind of ironic now because i do bullet journaling all the time and if you're looking at creators online most of them are amazing at hand lettering and i am just not one of those people <laughs> so it just goes to show that you don't have to be like perfect at drawing you don't have to be like amazing uh handwriting calligrapher to do this this is just to help you organize and i think that this is just a really fun way to get you motivated to, to organize and i added two little presents on the top corner just because i felt there was a little bit of white going on but there you have it. These are my 12 Christmas ideas if you're still looking for it. I have other bullet journaling content on this channel and I'll link that down below if you're interested. But thank you guys so much for listening and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. All right, bye.